Hi there everybody, Steve here. Welcome to my bathroom. And uh, today is a special day because it's my birthday and I'm gonna have a special shave. So here we go. This, um, I've got some new stuff. First of all, I shall toast. We have uh, best from the woods. Oh yeah, straight from the woods. Let's just take a wee nip, shall we? That's, the, that's some of the hottest you've made yet. <sighs> anyway, that was just primer. I shall savor this one. <sighs> Finished it off. Bullet bourbon. My favorite. All right, so got that out of the way. Who's texting me? Oh, okay. All right, so uh, bullet bourbon, moonshine, and that. This soap, well, this is a cream. And take the seal off of it. I called... Uh, Arena from Ginger's Garden. I didn't call her. I sent her a private message on Facebook. And I asked her, could she duplicate this? And this is Vera Wang for Men. And if you can read the inscription there on the bottle, several years back, Happy Father's Day, there's what it says. From my kids, my girls. They got this for me. Actually, mom got it for me and said, here girls, give this to your father for, for Father's Day. So that's Vera Wayne for men. And this is Ginger's Garden Vera Wang type shaving cream. Argan, Argan shaving cream. And so it's a lovely scent. Look at there. It's a full tub. And, uh, and I got the uh, aftershave to go with it. So uh, we're going to try that. Give that a go. Uh, I've got my. Uh, Got my brush sitting in the uh, hot water here. Good old silver tip, Frank shaving. Put it back in there. I'm gonna take the uh, the seal. The there's a she put a seal on it to keep it from evaporating. So I'm going to wipe my brush across that just to get every little bit that I can. So, I didn't even have to send her a sample of the cologne for her to make this. She just, and I showed it, opened it up, didn't even show the label to my wife. I opened it up and I said, here, sniff this. And she did. And she said, is that the, uh, is that my cologne? And I said, yeah. So she knew right away what the hell it was. So. We got a Carl Monk House, a Simon, six eighths. Nicely polished, almost mirror finish. I mean, I can see me in it, but it's not like I can see me clearly. So, kind of distorted. But anyway, it's one of my favorite razors. It's my most beautiful razor. I'm gonna have to clean that up. It's got some tarnish uh, on the, uh, on the. I think that's copper here 
I think it's brass. I think that's copper on there because it's tarnishing green. So anyway, I'm gonna get some uh get some uh copper clean whatever you use to clean copper with. I'm gonna dab this, just take the brush and just kind of dab it in there. I'm not gonna get a whole lot because I don't think it'll take a whole lot. So there it is on my brush. And uh, here we go. Face lathering. I'm going to get a little water in there. So, uh, yes, today is my birthday. And I didn't dare tell anybody at work that it was my birthday because you know how construction is. You tell somebody, it turns into a big ordeal. So, but thanks to everybody on Facebook who told me a happy birthday. I appreciate it. More water. There we go. Now, I had thought about using, I do have a birth year razor in my stash, and I considered using it, but it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a double edge razor. And those of you that know me, no good and well. I really don't care for a double edge razor. I much, much prefer to use a straight razor. So, I think I will maybe from one pass pull it out and use it. Oh, this is a lovely, lovely, lovely scent. Lovely lather. And a lovely buzz, thanks to my man in the woods. So, there it is. Thank you, Irina. Very good job. See you, Mom. Eh, I think I'm gonna cut some of those sideburns off right there. It's just getting a little long. Yeah. Nice uh, face feel after the pass.
sure I've got my sideburns in. That's those bumps that you get, you know, when you shave too close and you get razor burn and then bumps show up later. That's what this blood is. I'm going back over them. That's usually what it is when I bleed. Usually not a cut. It's usually just going over the, the bumps. Because I get... I get those just about after, after every shave. Uh, excuse me, my wife calls. Sorry about that, folks. My wife called and I had to answer the phone. She wanted to know what I wanted to eat for dinner for my birthday. Guess what? We're having sloppy joes. Because I like sloppy joes. She said, that's not very exotic for your birthday. I said, it's what I want. Alright then. Cool. Interrupted my shave, my birthday shave at that. All right, well, cause my cream to all dry up. Hmm, I got myself right there a little bit. This is a wonderful, wonderful face feel. Face feel. I say face feel. My face feels wonderful after the first pass. It's just smooth and wonderful slickness. And so, uh, We'll commence with the second go around. Get some water on that. Alrighty then.
Ok. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to take uh, one little extra pass right, right here. I didn't do it against the grain, and I, I like to be an against, against the grain right in there on the, on the uh, jaw there. I have a cut here from when I did the fool's pass and I have a cut here so a couple of cuts that are most likely my fault but all in all good shave you'll quit bleeding here in a minute because you know there's always blood when Steve shaves Cold water rinse. Hmm. I was going to use, I was going to pull out that Gillette tech. 
Where is he at? There he is. There's my Gillette Tech uh, 04. Is uh, my birth year. Uh, it's a nice looking razor. It's a, I think it's aluminum because it's it's very lightweight and uh, it's a three piece. Oh four date code. Fourth quarter. Nineteen and sixty nine. That's right. Tomorrow, by the way, this is Huntsville, Alabama, so uh, space industry here. And uh, tomorrow is the 46th anniversary of the second moon landing. That's right. They landed on the moon the day after I was born. That makes me special. Salute. Let's get this alarm block out. This bitch is about to sing. We got the uh, Thayer's Lavender. A little bit more because it's good shit. Ginger's Garden a good a shake right here. Mmm, lovely. A few drops of that. Oh my goodness. If y'all have never used Ginger's Garden aftershave, you really should. Because it's more like putting a bomb on your face than it is an aftershave splash. I mean, seriously. It's, it's liquid. It's liquid. But, I mean, if, if I wasn't If I didn't know better, I'd think it's Soap Commander Bomb. So, anyway. Big fan. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a good rest of your week. And, uh, 
Y'all come back now, you hear? Roll Tide.